So it's me, Hurricane, and I'm out in the woods, and I actually did get injured. So I have a pretty good cut. It's real blood. So I don't have a first aid kit because I was out doing edible plants in the middle of nowhere. And so what I did was I found a pine tree, and I'm trying to dig down to this uh, layer of bark so that I can get some resin out and make a homemade Band-Aid. And I'm also going to use the pine needles to... I uh, put antiseptic on my hands, so I'll be right back hey with the rest. It's me, Hurricane Ann. So I'm out hiking around in one of my friend's woods and end up getting an injury. I don't know if you can see that cut or the dried blood everywhere, but it's it's pretty good. So I'm like, oh hell. <laughs> so luckily, I was able to find a pine tree. Now, just this weekend, I actually taught a class at FTX on pine trees. However, they were shorter, they were littler, they were easier to manipulate. This pine tree is very old. Um, the stuff is really super high, okay? I didn't have a fixed blade. All I had was my case pocket knife in my pocket, which is my favorite knife out of my hundreds of knives that I have. And look, it broke. So I've got a big cut, and my favorite knife broke. Not happy about that. Not happy. But uh, you should learn from this because you should always use a fixed blade when you're doing bushcraft. But what I, the reason I broke my knife was because I was trying to peel away some of the bark to get some resin out to seal my wound and make a, a band-aid for it because it was bleeding pretty good meanwhile i got a stick with some branches on it that fell down and reached way up high and managed to pull one of the lowest branches down and get some pine needles now on these pine needles i'm going to take these and i'm going to break these ends of it like these uh, stems right here off can i don't know if you can see that too good right there i'm going to break all these off so that they um won't stab me and then I'm gonna rub them all over my hands and use it for antiseptic. So what I'm doing now is just rubbing them I would have rather had my hands wet wash the blood off but I don't have any water where I'm at and it was been bleeding pretty good it's starting to clot up now and so I'm rubbing this all on my wound it's an antiseptic okay so I scraped this resin onto my knife see it now I'm going to put it on my wound. So, can you tell, I don't know what the light, if you can tell, there it is. So what I've done is I've put this on here, and basically it's going to be like liquid skin on it, okay? And check this out, this is what I was using to hold the camera a while ago. My AR. Because <laughs> I'm a redneck. Now what I would like to do next is scrape off a little layer of this white bark and wrap it around my wound as a band-aid, but I may not do that. Because I've got it to quit bleeding right now. And sealed. And that'll help it heal. And that'll work so I can get home. So um, I wasn't planning on doing this video today. But since I got cut, why not? So that's how you do what you do when you have an injury in your near pine tree. Hurricane in. Out. Thank you.